Hello everyone, Pally here, and we are talking about Walson Beta 0.5.0.5. This game so far has been amazing, and I just want to tell you a little bit of the uh, pros and the cons that I've found with the game so far, and I'm just going to make this really quick and simple because I want to get straight back into playing. This game is phenomenal, so just going to very lightly touch on the, the art style, the graphics, the pixel art of this game. It's amazing. Uh, I mean, what can I say? It has that dark and gloomy feel that Diablo 2 had and that Diablo 3 has in the sense that the spells are bright, their appearance is amazing, the mechanics of the spells and the melee attacks and all of this are fucking amazing but the overall concept art the, the, the art style behind it I find is really the uh, the focal point of this game. In saying that the lore as well, the actual story behind the game, now I'm only about level 12 in my main character at the moment, this means I'm not too much indelved into the, the story of the game. From what I've gathered so far it seems to be very in depth i'm curious to know more so you know that's that's just great because the more you play the more you get to learn about the game now talking a little bit about mechanics spell mechanics with certain weapons is absolutely incredible i've used magic staffs like the lightning staff the fire staff and the frost staff each of them play extremely differently from the last um i've gotten to use a couple of guns bows swords as well haven't really used much of them but from what i have used they're also equally as interesting in their own respect. The movement controls are very, very simple. It's just like Diablo in the sense that you just point, hold down your left mouse button, and you're walking, traversing around the, the world as per usual. Hotkeys, very easy to understand, very easily located on your keyboard, and it's not overburdening. So it doesn't make learning the game an extremely difficult task. It's just a pick up and play sort of experience, which I fucking love. So now I just want to quickly talk about the abilities behind your character, the specs, the talents, and all that sort of stuff. So, like Path of Exiles, this game has a huge talent tree that you can spec in any way that you want your playstyle to be. I've also found that when you go in a certain build with the talent tree, having armor that complements your overall ideal for a class build really helps solidify your playstyle and really helps solidify the spells and the talent tree specs that you've chosen. Now, one thing that I do want to give a special props to is in the town of Amarth, that's sort of my main hub at the moment, I don't know if there are other major towns or not, but in Amarth there is a spell tome merchant named the Archivist. You basically sell your spell tomes that you already learnt to him, or you don't want to learn to him, and he gives you knowledge experience, or knowledge currency. This could be wrong, the wording could be wrong, but that's the general idea behind it. And you can use this currency to actually upgrade the spells that you do want to keep for your build, which I love, by the way, because that's actually a really nice feature to make sure that if you wanted to make, say, for example a, a pure fire mage build you can really get that damage out there just by selling off your uh, excess tomes and making it so you know you're dropping nothing but fat dps you can do it with an archer and make it so your your toxic damage for example is just really creating those damage over a time effects which i love there's also a merchant who you buy stock standard and a few magic or rare items from him you can sell all your excess offer from him this game is actually rich in loot rich in gold which is really really fun also there is a gem merchant where you can go to him and basically unsocket your weapons and armors which have socketed gems already he also sells gems gems are actually something i haven't really delved much into but they're there so that's a nice feature as well means that the grind can be real so late game is going to be fun um and player housing i've seen in a certain amount of uh, youtube videos i've read on forums it looks amazing but i'm unfortunately not there yet now jumping into the cons of course this isn't really a con but it's still in beta but the thing I will link to the fact that it's in beta is this game cost me $28 in Australia. That is a little bit too steep for a beta. For me personally, only because I'm a, I'm a bit tight on cash. But from the five hours or so I've put into this game so far, it is extremely worth it. And I, I will be recommending this game heavily. There is only one other issue I've had where in character customization, I, I get hit with a black screen that actually freezes my computer when I change the hairstyles of my characters. Besides that, I've had not a single issue, not a single frame spike, not a single lag issue at all from the servers. So this game is pretty much running almost flawlessly which is really, really good.
I would like to give this game an overall 8 out of 10. I feel it deserves it. I feel that there is a small amount of room for improvement, but I'm only 5 hours into the game. I, I haven't experienced late games. I overall highly recommend the game. I, I think if you've got an extra, in my case, $30 Australian to actually lash out and buy this game, please do it. The amount of hype behind Steam for this game is ridiculous. It's getting so much traction. It's getting so much love from the community. It is basically the expansion to Diablo 2. It's the game after Diablo 2 that everyone wanted from Blizzard but failed to be delivered. The devs have been doing absolutely great work and on a side note speaking about the devs, I put out a little tweet the other day saying that, you know, I'm going to do a review because I've been playing this game for a little bit and I'm falling in love with it greatly. I got a light from the actual official Twitter of Walson, so I'm pretty fucking stoked about that. So thanks guys, I really appreciate it. It's good to get some recognition out there. Hopefully this covers all your questions and queries about the game so far. This has been my review on Walson. Hope you enjoyed it. As usual, drop a like and GG.